Hey, it's Joe Glines from the Automator, and I'm announcing some more updates to the update to our window scripting tool. We made some really cool stuff. Let me let me share you here. Um, so now, if you double click the icon, um, you'll see there's there's a few more settings. Um, let's kind of step through them here. First off, we have a reset hotkeys in the far left in case you just kind of want to reset things. And we also added over here a disabled. So on any of these things, you can disable the functionality. We we initially thought you'd you know, you you all would want to use everything, but some people don't want to use certain functionality. And this now allows you to disable it because people were unchecking this and they couldn't have one un you know nothing checked. So this allows you now to do that. And if you reselect something, that'll um, get updated. And before we had hard coded the OCR language um, to be English because of course we're, we're Americans and we only think of us. No, um, it was just the way that the script, original script had been done. And so I said, hey, you know, well, let's, let's make that where we can change it. And hey, if we have that OCR in English, why don't we allow people to choose a language to translate it to and assign a different hotkey to it. So now Windows Shift and dragging with the mouse um, is gonna do a little something a little different. So let's do a little test. I'm gonna hit here and sit save and come into here and we have some funny memes. Let's, let's pull one up so we have a little bigger text. So if I go like this, this grab, now look, here's the OCR from it. Did a pretty good job, it looks like. Let's do it on this one. Great, now what if I want this translated into Spanish? I think the hotkey was Windows Shift. So it's gonna take that, whatever is translated, and dump it into Google Translate and um, here I have it set from English to Spanish. And that is what, if we come back to here, this is what this is set to. So if you want to use this, just change it. If I wanted to change it to Russian, right, and save it now, and I can just do it from here. It doesn't matter, right? So Windows Shift is my hotkey. Um, it will bring up this page, changing it from English to Russian. So uh, this was a really simple thing to add. I thought it was a very cool thing to be able to have in there. Uh, maybe you don't want that, so you just use the other hotkey. It copies it to the clipboard, just like the previous version did. Uh, yeah, so there's some pretty awesome stuff. There was, for some people, they weren't able, it would say like it couldn't save certain files. Older Windows systems, we had it saving to the app data folder. And um, unfortunately, like on Windows 7 and 8 uh, XP things, they didn't have that. So for Windows 10 user, it was fine. Anyway, we changed it now where the stuff is just saved locally. And in the zip file, you'll find both the auto hotkey code and the executable for those of you who want to play with the auto hotkey script or just run the executable. If, uh, you know, some of you are reporting it, it comes up as with a virus, it's uh, it's just the AutoHotkey EXE. A lot of virus checkers out there are now reporting that AutoHotkey has a virus in it. We didn't add anything in there, nefarious. Use the AutoHotkey script instead of the executable if you're not comfortable with it, right? And take a look at it. So hope you enjoy it. Let me know what you think. Cheers.